good strategy, good teamwork, good character interaction, Titan death, and yet of course, a shocking revelation at the end of this episode. Yes, of course, it's me, the Elite HB Live Action. You already know what it is. All those things were put into this week's episode of Attack on Titan. So I'm here to bring you this review of Attack on Titan Episode 8 titled, I Can Hear a Heart Beating, Defense of Trost 4. Now, of course, this episode picks up where the last one ends. And we see Mikasa, Armin, and Connie. Of course, they're on a roof. And we see Armin, he puts together a plan. You know, a good strategy to where... They're trying to figure out if they can get that abnormal titan, you know, to lead him on to the rest of the titans around, surrounding the uh, HQ. And they think, of course, that's bizarre and crazy, but they go for it anyway. So as they're going for it, of course, it cuts to Gene. And Gene, that's when he's still where he is looking at Tom and the rest who just got uh, recently eaten. And he was still thinking to himself, like, he's not cut off for this, this leader position. But he honestly realized, he's like, wait a minute, I can use this situation to our advantage. Their backs are turned, they're focused on them, let's go. So everyone, okay, everyone starts heading for, towards the gas and, you know, there's playing the hype music. Everyone is ziplining. You see uh, Connie, he's holding uh, Armin, ziplining through. And one thing I did like, you know, when Gene, he was ziplining through, you know, one of the Titans, they grabbed him by the leg. He cuts the finger off and he keeps it moving. That I do like. But, of course, we see an unknown motivator. He gets snatched up, of course, and, uh, you know, he dies. But as they were coming towards the window, they crash through. Everything seemed good. Everything seemed cool. And we see Masaki, Mikasa, she takes out uh, some Titans as well. And once Gene gets in there, he sees two individuals hiding under a the table. They're from the supply squad. He picks up the guy, hits him, say, you abandoned us, you bastard. And the girl was crying, saying, what do you expect us to do? We couldn't fight him. And he was saying, you're supposed to think of something in that situation. So, of course, you hear. I don't know if this was a scream. Or the noise of a Titan getting knocked into the building, you know, like, like that. Because, it, you know, at first, first time I was watching this episode, I'm thinking to myself, okay, did this Titan just, you know, smash his head through the wall or did his ass get knocked into the wall? Maybe he screamed and smashed his head through or maybe that noise, like I said, was him getting knocked into it. But anyway, whichever the case may be, a Titan, it blew a hole, it made a hole in the wall and... They all got scared. Oh, and upon this, we see the abnormal Titan. He's still just causing chaos and everything. And, um, and we see these two, we see a male and a female Titan here. They're just looking through. Everyone is running, screaming. And that's when Gene, he starts to seem like lose hope. Again, just when his spirits was high, they went right back down because he's thinking to himself like, damn, okay, I thought this plan would work. We made it here. Now there's still no hope. These things are about to kill us. Maybe they're going to reach, push their arm in and eat us. And then out of nowhere, we see a fist come. Bam, that normal Titan hits both of them. You know, a two and one. They go falling down and, you know, their legs go in the air. So Mikasa, Armin, and Connie, they make it into the building. And that's when Connie, he's like, okay, cool. Just in time, just ran out of gas. So the next best move for them was to take out the Titans that was in the gas, uh, the gas storage. And that's when Armin, he puts together a plan. They find these rifles, you know, they had dust on them and everything. And he puts together this plan. They go on a lift. And as the lift comes down, you know, they wait for the Titans to come in closer. It was seven Titans. As the Titans come in closer, they shoot them in the face, blind them, stun them and whatnot. And they have seven other members up top. Seven for each uh, seven that's down low. So, And he said the best ones who were capable of doing that, they they should be the ones who deliver the death blow. And the ones who are really capable, they should, you know, use the firearms. And it's just in that, that moment, man, when they were ready, just aiming, and you see the one Titan walking, then it turns to the right, and it's just looking at him. And it's got that eerie-ass face like all the Titans have, and it's getting closer and closer and closer. And then, bam, they fire, they shoot. And it seems like it's working, and it looks like the scene that we see from the uh, intro as well. You know, they're shooting the cameras, doing the 360, and as it's working, you see everyone comes down, slashes the neck. But we see Sasha and Connie miss their designated target, and they mess up. And that's when Mikasa and the one lady, I forget her name, with the blonde hair and the little ponytail, uh, they have to pick up the slack. And we see Sasha, she, you know, she goes, she's crying, and she's going to thank, um, Mikasa and everything. Mikasa tell her, you know, hold her composure. But they were glad about the whole thing because, you know, they still knew that that Titan, that abnormal Titan outside was still keeping them busy. Oh, and prior to this, it was mentioned that 
I don't know if this is true or not, or he was just talking out of his ass, but he was saying another weak spot is sticking the sword up their ass, but who knows? Maybe he was talking out of his ass. I don't know. So anyway, finally, finally in this episode, we see something we haven't seen in a long time, a sigh of relief. They finally caught a break. They, you know, mission complete. They got the gas, you know, and uh, they were refilling the gas, taking as much as they could. They were ziplining out of there. Everything was going good. And, of course, the abnormal Titan was still out there causing uh, chaos. And I love that flip over maneuver he did with that one Titan. And the crazy thing is, you see this motivator. He was kicking the little baby Titans, the little toddler Titans. I thought that was funny. Um, and n n not funny in the sense that it's, it's like that's the first time I've really seen you know, the little motivator titans in, in action like that, and they're trying to still attack him. Like, they don't care that he's uh, bigger than them. But anyway, they see that these titans are eating on the abnormal titan, and they're thinking, like, well, you know, cannibalism, like the titan eating on another titan, and they're just eating them and eating them. And they see the one titan who um, ate Thomas in episode, I believe, five. Yeah, I believe episode five. And this abnormal titan, he gets up off the wall, he's running, his arms fall off, they're still ripping into him, and he goes up to that Titan, that other abnormal Titan who ate Thomas, bites his neck, picks him up, slams him down, he's just going crazy, and they're trying to figure out a way, you know, if they can use that thing as an ally. Gene is thinking like, hell no, damn that, you know, and you know, they're telling him like, this could be our greatest weapon it could work better than any cannon any other weapon anything like this this is something we need like we need to understand this and figure it out so of course they have no titan he goes on to pass out and they like oh i guess he's burnt out and of course to the most shocking the revelation for this episode was when we see like the back of the neck it starts to dissolve and melt and and we see it was armin and everyone is shocked and appalled and you see mikasa she goes down there and you know, she sees that it's Armin. Then the scene cuts to where they take Armin out of his shell. And they're up top of this wall. And they're all surrounded by him. And Mikasa, she's holding Armin. He, she's crying and everything. And she's just glad to see him. And Armin, he, he's looking at Aaron. And Mikasa's like, did I, damn. Did I say Mikasa was holding Armin? Hold on, but Mikasa's holding Aaron. And Armin was looking at Aaron. Look, thinking, like, okay, his arm regenerated, his leg regenerated. And he picks up. Aaron's uh, hand and he's holding it and they're just wondering what the hell is going on and at that point the episode ends so that's the quick rundown now my overall thoughts of the chapter I mean I mean what can I say yet again chapter after chapter after chapter this show delivers you know this story you know because I'm pretty sure it'd be the same thing with the uh, manga you know reading chapter after chapter so like I said I love the fact that we see good strategies and teamwork implemented into this uh to this episode because we see living in this world fighting against these titans that is what you are really going to need to survive okay you're going to need of course and you're going to have to stay level-headed and be positive but within that episode you've seen this one guy who kept on saying that you know gene yeah, you're fit to play a leader role you're fit to uh, take command he was saying no i'm not no i'm not and he told him again like you're good at you know, observing the situation and analyzing and know what to do best right then and there because you're weak, you're not as strong as Mikasa. So looking at characters in the series that have their own individual skill sets, they can have they can just form a, a very, very powerful squad. You have Gene who can analyze the situation very well and know what to do and can take advantage of the situation. We have Mikasa, we all see she's strong as hell, and we have Armin. He's uh, good at uh, coming up with uh, strategies and plans, being a tactician. With those three working together and staying level-headed, that can, they can uh, get very far. And I was glad to see Armin finally doing something because it seemed like Armin, he, he seemed useless until now. Like I said, he came up with some good strategies, and, um, and we see they worked very, very well. So staying level-headed, good teamwork, and strategy is, is, is key. But, yes, casualties will still happen as we've seen in today's episode. There were some casualties. Uh, Gene, I'm starting to like Gene a lot more, but I, I do wish Gene, he would, even though he does act accordingly to the situation, you can adjust your moves by uh, whether facing the facts, staying positive, or um, just, you know, trying to stay calm, you know, because, like I said, he was ziplining towards where the gas was, he finally broke through and everything, I'm thinking like, okay, 
his spirits was up, his spirits was high. And then, of course, he did feel kind of guilty that people died under his command. He was feeling like, damn, I didn't want to really use him as bait. You know, that's how he was feeling. But, you know, he hit the one guy, he went off on him. And then once we see those two titans sticking their head in the window, that's when he was thinking like, damn. It's like he just lost all hope. His mood just went away. But you can kind of understand, you know, he thought he was in the safe zone for the most part. Okay, and then he realized like, damn. At least I could be safe in this one area, but I see these motivating titans are right here. Like, I just zip line past the whole bunch. And damn, here I go uh, again, surrounded by others. Amikasa. Um, we see, of course, another side of her, which this isn't surprising. We see how she was crying. Of course, like I said, it's not surprising because her and, and Aaron, you know, they have that close bond. But it, it, now, let's talk about this abnormal titan, which we all see now is Aaron. Okay. That was the spoiler slash secret that I've seen before uh, this was revealed, okay, in the anime. When I first started watching Tech on Titan, I was like, okay, let me uh, get familiar with the world and the series and everything. I went to watch, I mean, I went to uh, read about Armin, not Armin, Aaron. And as I was reading about Aaron, you know, my eyes were just scrolling and reading. It went to powers and abilities. And real quick, I, I swear, I... I was I, I don't uh, I was telling myself I hope I didn't read what I just thought I read said uh, Aaron has the ability to turn into and, and I seen the T.I. and then after that I just said oh hell no I just left it but I, I kept thinking to myself I hope that's not what I thought I read and of course it is but I still think this is a very very cool thing because this this is gonna have make a turning point of uh of the battle against the Titans. But the thing is, it raised so many questions. What was the process of him doing that? Like when that Santa Claus, Al Borland and Titan swallowed him, what happened after that? What was the process? Um, also, how is the rest of the humans gonna look at him when they find that out? Are they gonna look at him as an outcast, whatnot? Or they're gonna treat him like a freak? Or they're just gonna really give him props now? Like, okay, yeah, you can really help us out. Or they're gonna be pushing him to the front lines. Like, hey, if you can do it again, go do it. Um, some people might want to convert to Titanism if they, however you get turned into a Titan, but um, it will get explained. I'm pretty sure how he was able to maintain his uh, state of mind by, you know, knowing like, okay, I'm not going to attack the humans. I'm only going to attack the Titans. But I did really, really like this episode. Um, it's it, Like I said, it just deliver, man. It, every episode, week after week, it delivers. Uh, I, I'm going to say, for my rating for this episode, to me, it was a perfect. Why? There was really no flaws in this episode to me. And the little flaws that were, you know, just little nitpicky stuff that don't even matter. Like, it's just irrelevant. So, and I'm not afraid to admit when an episode is perfect or a chapter is perfect, especially when I really enjoy it and things are done right. So... That's my whole thing about Elise. Uh, episode 8 of Attack on Titan Review. Really enjoyed it. Give me your thoughts, comments, and concerns. This is Elite Ace. Thanks for watching as always. Signing up.